So today we're going to be doing prolotherapy of the cervical spine. I'm going to be using PRP as our agent. Uh, this patient right here has some hypermobility or instability of the cervical spine and our goal will be to try to stabilize this. Uh, we're going to be injecting his uh, upper neck, lower neck, his shoulder blades and the attachments of the muscles to his head. And what that will do will create some stability and prevent the pain and headaches that he's experiencing. So what I'm doing now is just marking the landmarks with the ultrasound, uh, making sure that we find all the facet joints uh, that we're identifying on his x-ray as hypermobile. And I'm gonna put a mark on them and then we'll, uh, we'll anesthetize them and we'll go ahead and do the injections. So now that his neck and shoulder blades have been marked, what I'm gonna do is clean the area with an antiseptic. This is chlorhexidine and some alcohol. This is a surgical type of antiseptic um, and it'll make sure that the whole area is nice and sterile before we get to the procedure. What I'm gonna do next is anesthetize the area. Sorry, a little poke right here. And this is just a little bit lidocaine and ropivacaine and this will help the procedure be less uncomfortable. Very good, we'll do the other side. Now that his neck area is numb and clean, we're going to go ahead and start with some PRP. Here's the platelet-rich plasma that says blood, a little bit of dextrose and some anesthetic. And we're going to go ahead and start the injections. So you're doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm doing is injecting level by level. We started around the C3 vertebrae and I'm moving down to C5 right now. And at each level, I'm injecting a little bit of PRP into the facet joints and into the surrounding ligaments. And basically what we wanna do is at each level, inject the facet joint, the lamina, and then the spinous process and all the ligaments that are surrounding. And what the PRP and prolotherapy will do, will get those ligaments nice and tight and provide stability that the patient so, so direly needs. I'm gonna work on some of the midline structures. So we we're gonna get the spinous process and the nuchal ligament, which is such an important area to stabilize uh, the cervical spine. So next thing we're gonna inject is the occipital ridge. That's where all the occipital muscles attach and very often people that have instability and irritability in this area can get what is called an occipital headache. And unfortunately, uh, this patient has one of those headaches and we're gonna stabilize that area to try to prevent those headaches to recur. What sure we're going to be injecting is the scapula. The medi medial border of the scapula uh, tends to be a very painful area for a lot of patients. That's where a lot of muscles attach and very often this can be a sore area for anybody who's got uh, neck instability and neck pain. So we already did the right side and just got a few more areas on the left side and then he's going to be done. And you can see the needle going in and we're gonna go, when we touch bone, that's, when, that's where the ligaments attach. So now we are done with the prolotherapy PRP of this patient's cervical spine. Next part, uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean him up and then he's gonna heal. We're gonna put, get him under the laser to get the PRP nicely activated. And then for the next week or two, uh, this patient is gonna undergo healing and the ligaments are gonna get nice and tight and strong and provide him some stability and hopefully he should get some pain relief pretty quickly.